most of the popular icon libraries for React actually load it in as SVGs in JSX. You'll see here with a tweet from Jason Miller that this is actually the most expensive form of importing icons. It costs a minimum of three times more than other techniques and hurts runtime, performance, and memory usage. I'll leave a link to this tweet in the description below so you can get some more context and also a really good blog post that goes into detail about the different ways you can load in icons. Now above that, you'll see a tweet from Ken C. Dodds, the creator of Epic Stack. Epic Stack is a template for Remix.js. And what he says is they use automated process for SVG sprite sheets. A sprite sheet is essentially one image that has all of your icons in there and you can go and essentially target those via coordinates. But I'll show you a way you can do this with sort of a name of the actual icon. Now this is just the Epic Stack implementation, but I've modified the code slightly to work with Next.js. To get started, we're gonna start up a Create Next app. So this is just the basic template for a Next.js application. I've taken out the stuff on the homepage so we don't need it. And we're gonna need a certain folder structure to store our icons for the script to work. You can actually go into the script and modify where these are. But for now, what I'm gonna do is create a folder. We're gonna call that other, and then it's gonna be SVG. So this is where you're gonna store all of your .SVGs. I'll show you in a bit how you can actually import SVGs from popular libraries really easily. But for this, I'm actually gonna use two of them. That's gonna be Radix and Lucid. And you're gonna to wanna to create separate folders underneath this SVG folder with those names, as this will really help you later on, and I'll show you why. So now that we've got these two folders, how do we go and get the SVGs in, in an easy way? You can manually add them there if you want to, if you're not even using an icon library, you're using your own. Well, I'm gonna use a tool called Sly CLI. So what this is gonna be is you're gonna do MPX at Sly dash CLI slash Sly and then space add. Now what Sly CLI is, is it will go and pull the code in for you without the dependencies. So once this loads up, you'll see the interactive terminal. It's gonna ask me what libraries I want to use. As I said, I wanna use Lucid and I wanna use Radix and you'll see a list of other ones there as well like Tailwind's Hero Icons and also Icon Noir. I'm gonna hit enter. It's gonna ask you where you wanna save these icons. We're gonna save it to the structure we set up earlier. So this one's gonna be slash other SVG slash Lucid. We don't wanna run a command yet after installing them. You can come back later and actually make the build icons command run after installing them. You do wanna save it to Sly JSON so that it remembers your configuration. And it's gonna ask the same for Radix. So this is gonna be the same slash other slash SVG slash Radix. Hit enter on that, and then the same settings here again. Now, once you've run through the initial configuration, it's gonna ask you which library would you like to use. So this is now you're actually picking icons you want to enter. So I'm gonna use Radix. I want the accessibility icon, activity log, and using the arrow keys and spacebar to select here. And I'm also gonna want an avatar icon. I'm gonna hit enter on that, and it's gonna say you're ready to install these three items. Now, as you'll see here, it's just gone and imported the SVG into that folder structure that we set up. So we've got three SVGs here that I just asked for, and I'm gonna do the same now for Lucid. So as I said, once you've got that sly.json configuration set up, it will just dip straight to which library would you like to use. We're gonna use Lucid. I want the activity icon. I want the alarm check icon, and let's say I want the album icon. Hit enter again and install those. So now I've got six icons that I want to use within my application. How do we get actually making an SVG sprite out of this? The first thing we're gonna to need to do is install a couple of dependencies to make this script work. These can be dev dependencies, but what that's gonna be is fs extra, glob, node html parser, and at types slash fs extra. I'll leave a link in the description below to a blog post where you can copy these commands if you need them. And we're gonna hit enter on that and it's gonna install them. So the next thing we need is the script, which is gonna be the build icon script. An important thing to note here is if you do not have node next as your module resolution, you will need the file extension to be .mts. Now, by default with Next.js, that is the case. So you'll see I'll use .mts in this. As I said, if you're using node next here, you don't need this. But if you don't essentially know what I'm on about, use .mts. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna create a file. It's gonna be called build-icons.mts, as I said. And then we're just gonna import the code. I'll leave a link to the GitHub repo in the description below. As I said, this is essentially the Epic Stacks implementation, just modified a tiny bit to work with Next.js. Now that we've got that, we're gonna to wanna to go to our package.json. You're gonna to wanna to add a line like this. So it's gonna be build and then colon icons. You can actually name this script anything. 
and then mpx tsx dot slash build icons dot mts as i said there'll be a link in the blog for a blog post if you need to follow along like that but now we've got that we can actually go ahead and build our sprite sheet using a command so for me that's going to be pmpm run build icons and you'll see this will start running a script here now this is going to do a couple of things the first thing is going to put a icons folder in your public and it's going to have sprite.svg and you'll see in here is we have one svg but it's got a lot of symbols and these symbols are essentially each individual icon that we have in our folders here it's merged them together for us it adds a readme into that icon library just to say that these are gener these are used by this script essentially and then the other thing it does is it adds a name tier.ts thing, which essentially has all of the names of the icons. And this is why you want to use that folder structure I said earlier, because now the icon name is lucid slash activity instead of activity, which could cause confusion if you're using multiple libraries. Now, to use these icons, we need to create an icon component. So I'm going to come into my components folder here, and I'm going to create a file called icon.tsx. This is where we're going to have our icon component that's essentially going to take in the name of the component or the name of the icon story and it's going to render the icon we want from that one svg sheet that we've just generated i'm going to copy and paste in some code here now an important thing to note about the code i've just copied in and as i said there will be a link to the github repo where you can go and get this is it's actually using this cn from our lib down here now if you're using shad cn um, you'll know what this is and that will be there for you Essentially, it just helps with Tailwind and merging class names if you want to pass them through. If you don't have this, you can, there's two options. You can just go and remove this and simply just do an add. So you can just add the whatever's already there um, to the class names you want. Or you can just remove it altogether and just always pass through class names from Tailwind. If you don't know what I'm on about, you can just go and copy and paste the code, as I said, and you'll need to install CLSX and Tailwind Merge. But now we've got the icon, we can go ahead and use it. What you're going to do is go into your page wherever you want an icon do icon and we're going to import that from the component we just created and it's going to take a name and that's going to be now with typescript we'll see the icons that we have because of that name.d.ts and for this one i'm going to choose lucid activity i'm going to pass through some class names so i can change its width and height i'm going to want width of four height of four and then i'm just going to close that off now if we run the dev server we should see that that loads up and we have our first icon in there from our sprite sheet so if i go into localhost here you'll see we have the activity icon here now that might be hidden there but here we go that is the activity icon that we just loaded in there and if we go into inspect element here let me just make this bigger if i go into network and then refresh the page you may be able to see that we've got a sprite.svg loaded in and that's the only thing that's loaded in and it will have all of our icons in there for us. So that's pretty much it is how you go in and use them. A cool thing to note about the icon component that Epic Stack did is if you want it to align with text, so if it was left aligned, you can actually go in and just put the text within the icon component and it will automatically do that for you. So if I make sure that this icon component is open here and I say this is some text, and save that if we go back to localhost 3000 you will see that it's actually centered the icon on the text because sometimes it doesn't that's just because of the default styling that we have on it and the other thing to note if you wanted to style this text now you can actually use child class name so if you wanted to call this so let's say text color or text red 600 in tailwind that is you'll see that it will color everything within it with that text so that's how you can pass through some class names. You'll see you can change this icon.tsx to suit your needs, but this will help get you set up with what you need. That's pretty much it with how you can use SVG sprite sheets within Next.js. The last thing to note is you may want to preload this. The how to do that in Next.js is you create a component called pre-generate resources. I'll just do TSX for that. And then you're just gonna want a couple of a bit of code like this. It's gonna be use client because it's gonna be a client component. And it's going to be react dom preload and then it's going to be the path to what we're preloading um that's going to be without public here because when it's actually hosted on the server we don't have that public slug and it's just going to be as image and then in your layout you're just going to want to go and use that component so that's pretty much all you need to get started with next.js and sprite sheets 
The only drawback really is you're going to want to make sure that the icons you're putting in these folders are ones you're actually going to be using because they will be added to that final image that will be preloaded and that could slow your website down if you're importing icons that you're not going to use. If you are using a lot of icons as well, you may want to consider separating out the SVG sprite sheets. You can sort of go in the script and see how you may be able to do this. You want to probably separate these out based on the page they're being used on, but that's only if you lose using a lot of icons and the file size is getting quite large. Anyway, if you have any more questions, do leave them in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching.